I must say, uh, City of Richmond, delicious. Legend Brewing, the original location, fantastic. But Bianca, what if everyone doesn't live in Richmond like you? What if they live in Hampton Roads like me? Well, I've got some good news for you, Jay. They have just opened in Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Check it out. We've been at the Richmond location for the last 25 years now, and we're looking to expand brew pubs all over the state. Well, my name is Alan Valencia. I'm the uh, general manager and regional manager for the brew pubs for Legend Brewing Company. Uh, we selected Portsmouth because uh, it was a great place to come. The city government has been great. They welcomed us with open arms. The view outside that we have is right on the river. It kind of mimics what we did up in Richmond, just on a smaller scale. Portsmouth seemed to be the right fit for us, and uh, we're glad to be here. The fact that this is their first expansion since 1993, I think that's awesome that they chose Portsmouth. First, it's created some excitement about Portsmouth in the region. Over the last month, I can hardly go to any place in Hampton Roads without somebody asking me about how is the new Legends location, or they have been there, and they comment uh, about their beer or about the food. I mean, the food here is really awesome. It's, is as much a restaurant as a uh, brewery. All of the managers that are here had to do a little bit of training in the Richmond location, so we got familiarized with the, the Richmond menu. Uh, my name is Chrissy Covington Goulart. I am the kitchen manager at Legend Brewing Depot in Portsmouth, Virginia. Of course, it's a little bit different than Richmond, and so when I wrote the menu for this one, I definitely looked at the things that I knew that would carry over well and that people would find appealing here just as much as they do in Richmond, while I also wanted to integrate a little bit more seafood, a little bit more of the fare that I know like people that live in this area are looking for. The beer cheese and the, and the Brussels sprouts that, that are on the menu from the Richmond location are key. Everybody loves those. They come looking for them. So I, I kept those the way that they were in the Richmond location. The menu that we're running right now is kind of a startup menu because we needed to be able to make it accessible, not only to train our staff, but just for, for the people of Portsmouth. And so the next menu is gonna be a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit bolder. The beer is definitely the star here, but what we like to do is complement that with a craft beer dining experience. We infuse our food with the beer, as well as pair our food with the beer. And most people who come into a craft brew are looking for that type of what we call beer geek experience. I do have a fairly like extensive craft beer background, so when I write a menu, I think about you know the aspects of the of the beer as well as the the food. My staff is knowledgeable and uh, is really good at giving that craft beer experience, so that. If you don't know what you want to drink for the first time coming here, we can point you in the right direction. If it's got a crazy taste or it has a crazy ingredient, our urban legends are the way we get our one-offs out into the market. In honor of our opening here in Portsmouth this year, our first two urban legends had to do specifically with the Hampton Roads area. We did our ESP, ESB, Extra Special Bitters, and we tied that in with the Edgar Casey Foundation down in Virginia Beach. And then, of course, our la latest one is our Glencoe Inn Scottish Ale, and that's been tied into the Glencoe Ghost, which the hotel is located right around the corner here in historic Old Town right on North Street. We want each one of our locations around the uh, state to have their own identity, even though they are all going to be a part of the Legend Brewing Company history. Each one in each building, each physical plant that we select has something that's a little bit different. So here, you're actually in the old Seaboard Coastline Railroad building, which is why we called it the Depot. Over the years, this building has uh, been the train station 
and was the Portsmouth City Hall up until the early 80s. But it now has new life with legends here on the first floor and apartments above legends. In fact, I met a couple who live upstairs and they say legends is like our den. This is where we go to at the end of the day to let our hair down and to relax and to meet friends. Legend is a, is, a, is a big deal when it comes to coming to our area, being that this is their, their only expansion coming out of Richmond. My name is Robert Moore. I'm with the City of Portsmouth Economic Development Department. I am the business development manager for the city. The opportunity to have that name brand, that name recognition, um, as you enter our ferryway and enter the water coming into our city, this is a gateway, and we consider ourselves a gateway city. So the opportunity to have a name brand and this their brand at our gateway is wonderful. Well, we're really excited about being the first thing people see when they step off that ferry over here. They get welcome into Old Town Portsmouth, and we are pretty much the uh, gatekeepers. I've seen it as I've watched people get off the ferry and stop and turn and look at the, the activity. It's almost like a mousetrap. You're kind of drawn into, hey, I want to sit on the sidewalk and, and look at the, the ships. It just takes you to a different place. You forget about troubles, you forget about uh, stress. Uh, it's great therapy. Hopefully uh, seeing the brewery and everybody loves craft beer with a craft beer boom is going to attract and draw people not only to our location, but to other businesses right down the road. The revitalization of Old Town is of the utmost importance and we're hoping to be the catalyst for that.